Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. It's Friday. Super excited about it being the weekend. I am going to be playing in my glue folio today. I have a couple layouts pre-planned and ready to go. I have a stack of my digital printables that I offer in my Kofi shop. Link is in the description box down below. Thank you to everybody that's been purchasing my digital art. Well, it's not digital. I hand drew these and then scanned them in so that you can have a digital and print them. And I have them at a very affordable price. And um, I just want to thank everybody for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I'm the only one holding down the fort right now as my husband has been recovering from massive, massive surgery. So your support means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. Also, a lot of people have been uh, using the buy me a coffee over there. Thank you so much for that as well. I really appreciate you guys. It's a really neat program over there on the Kofi shop. I like it a lot. They don't take fees. However, they're linked with PayPal. And so I only get about half of what you give me. Um, but I'm thankful for it. Don't get me wrong. I just was shocked at the the fees that PayPal takes out of them. But, you know, whatever. All right. So I decided to put down one of my black and white drawings and then I'm going to jazz it up with the images that I've chosen for this. I do end up adding a little bit of washi tape at the top and bottom. I left the border on there because I wasn't sure at first whether I wanted to color in the border, add some stripes, you know, whatnot. So I left that option open and I knew if I decided I didn't want to have that white stripe at the top and bottom, I could cover it with washi tape and that is what I ended up doing. I'm using some, um, I think it's Dina Wakely washi tape. I found, I remembered I have this little um, be happy little bag there from my friend Helen. Thank you, Helen. Um, and I keep when I travel or I'm going anywhere and I need washi tape, I always use that for like as much washi tape as I can bring in that bag. So I keep a lot of like my black and white washi tape in there and some of my like more favorite ones. And I forgot that I had that sitting on my desk and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. There's where all my washi tape is. Or like not all my washi tape, but some of my favorites were in there. So, so I found these flowers in a magazine and they're actually, they were in a vase, but I just kind of cut or wait, were they in a vase? I don't know, it was like a flower arrangement situation kind of ad. So I just cut around the flowers and used them like that. So I knew what I wanted to use them for right when I saw this. So I just trimmed that down to fit. And oh my gosh, I love the way flowers look on black and white. Mm. So cool. The colors just pop and oh, I love it so much. I should have kind of left it as it was, but then I just start adding more stuff to it. But listen. It's not always about the end game here. It's about the process. At least for me, when I glue book, I do it for fun. I do it to be creative and I do it to ease my anxiety. I have a lot of fun doing it. And sometimes I just go a little overboard on my pages because I'm enjoying myself and that's okay. I will be unapologetic about it. So I realized when I was gonna put down my image that I didn't like the white border so this is where I come in with my Dina Wakely. I think it's, is it Diane Reevely or Dina Wakely? Oh my gosh, why do I get those two so confused? One of them, um, they're washi tape. So that's what I was doing there was searching for my washi. It's just nice and thin. So it, it went over that little area like perfectly. And I struggled. I was on the struggle bus this morning. <laughs> kept like wiggling around like a little worm go figure considering my page is about a worm um and I don't know I just kind of struggled here but it was fine I got through it it took me a minute I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I kept having to pull it up put it back down pull it up put it back down and then I finally got it how I wanted it and then I put the bird down and because the glue had been sitting there upside down for a minute this is a permanent glue that I use for 
glue booking my Scotch permanent glue sticks. So this glue is very tacky and it dries really fast and permanent, which is why I use it. My images never come up. And so anyways, it got really tacky and sticky because it was sitting there before I glued it down. So I had no more wiggle room. And I didn't think about that when I put the worm down. And so it came out kind of crooked because once I put it down, it wasn't moving. So, I mean, if I had put it down right when I had glued it, I would have had that few seconds of wiggle room. But because I had it sitting there while I was searching for washi tape, uh, that didn't work out so well for me. But, you know, whatever. It's okay. It's all good. Now I decide because I add it at the bottom, I have to add it to the top because, you know. That's, I guess, how I roll. I don't know. And I liked how it was just colorful, so it just adds a little splash of color. And so I cut out the sunshine. It ended up being bigger than I wanted it to be, but, you know, whatever. And then I put it up there, and I didn't like how I put it up there. <laughs> Do you guys go through this where you're like, have this vision, and then you put it to what's the word? Fruition, fruition, whatever. And it's not how you had it in your head. And that's kind of what happened here. I was like, oh, a second as <laughs> it's like right here after I trimmed it, I turned it over and I was like, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, it's not horrible, but that's just not what I envisioned, but it's okay. It's all good. I, I mean, it's cute. I like it. At least I keep telling myself that. So I don't like freak out over it. All right, there goes my little worm. Oh yeah, I had a bow tie for the worm. So I was super excited to add that. And it's a little oversized, which I think makes it look even cuter. And I cut out a butterfly. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So if you can't read it, it says, the early bird can have the stupid worm because mornings and worms suck. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I'm a snarky woman and humor is how I get through all the struggles in my life. So I am a morning person. That's why I think I find this so funny because um, I don't mind mornings. And then look how cute that little tiny worm is. Oh, my God. I love it so much. <laughs> my nephew, who is six, um, my sister, love her passion is like gardening, whereas mine is crafts. Although she likes to do crafts, too. She's been really into watercolor and stuff like that. But her true passion would be more like photography and outdoors and combining those two together. She likes to take pictures of bees. Bees are her jam. Um, and she loves to take pictures of everything in her yard. So anyways, my nephew got obsessed with worms and it was just really cute. And so every time I see a little worm like this, it makes me think of him. And like one time I found this um, sticker book and it was like summer garden or something like at in the kids section at a craft store and it had worms in it. And so I would like put worms on his card and <laughs> like birthday cards and stuff like that. Cause he was just obsessed. And then they have like a ton of snails. And so my sister has gotten, had like taken some phenomenal like slow-mo pictures or videos of the snails and stuff. Cause they're huge. It's just really pretty. It's so crazy because my sister and I live on complete opposite sides of town. It takes me like, I don't know, 40 minutes, 35 minutes to get there via um, freeway. And our yards are so different um, with good reason. Obviously, we live diff you know, in different towns uh, in the same state. But she can grow things in her yard that I can't grow in mine. And then I've had some luck with some things that she hasn't been able to grow there. But yeah, she has all kinds of stuff over in her, her garden. I don't know. I just went off on a little tangent here. It started out about this cute little worm, but it reminded me of my nephew, which reminded me of my sister's yard. You know how that goes. It's a trifecta. All right. So with this one, I decided right off the gate, I'm just going to add some washi tape. Um, oh, I remember why. So when I glued this down, I thought I had it even, but it wasn't. It was a little crooked. So there was like a tiny piece of black on the bottom which honestly you could not even tell um, because it was black, but I don't know. I just decided to add some washi and I'm really glad I did. I like the way it looks. So this one says, I believe in you. I also believe in Bigfoot, so don't get too excited. <laughs> so I had to do like a little footprint and a Bigfoot 
and all that stuff. So here's my little big foot. And I'm just trying to decide how I want the placement of everything to go. And I decided I just want to, well, one, round the corners, obvi. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, but I decided that I needed to just put the picture down where I wanted it. And then I would work around that situation. So that's what I did. And if you're wondering where I found both of these funny little picture quotes, they came from a one of those desk calendars, um, the 365 day um, where you tear it off each day. And it was a snarky one that somebody had sent me in a happy mail. And I absolutely love them. And so the other day I, you know, went through the little calendar and then picked out some snarky quotes and cut them up and stuff like that. So Definitely, if you're looking for fun images or quotes, look at like discounted calendar, like desk calendars, those little small, they're like what, four by four inches or five by five inches squares that sit, sit on your desk. Um, Amazon has a bunch from last year that are on clearance. I have some in my cart. Some are like $1.67 for the calendar for last year. And I'm I'm obviously not using it as a calendar. So I don't care how old it is. I just want the images that are on it. So I really love that. I bought a bunch of calendars at Bymart one day because they were all on clearance from last year. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take these for a dollar. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And I had this little hand sitting on my desk, so I decided to add that as well. And there was just this little spot at the bottom um, that needed a little something, something. So that's what I did. I think it looks pretty good there, too. I really love, I think I've said this like 10 times in this video, I do really enjoy and love the way these layouts turned out. Um, they look a little busy next to each other, but I don't even care. I had fun. I was super creative with it. And I just really enjoyed myself. Oh, and I had this butterfly sitting on my desk. And I decided to cut it in half and use half on this corner and then the other half on the opposite side of the page. Um, that's a great way to kind of break up some things on your page is to just cut something in half. And especially if it's something like this, like a butterfly or a flower or whatever. I mean, it can be anything. But if you cut it in half, use the other side um, on another part of your page. I do that a lot with flowers. What am I doing here? Am I doing some more washi? Yes, I am. I decided that I couldn't just have, because I had washi, the same washi, on the other page at the top of the bottom. And on this page, I had it on the bottom. So I couldn't leave one undone, like one at the top. That would have driven me, driven me nuts. Driven me, driven. Oh my gosh. Words are hard. So I like the way I did that. I added that at the top. And then I decided that that spot up there was a little blank and I just didn't want to stop. So I kept adding. And this quote says, I may be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> and I like that because I said, I also believe in Bigfoot. So don't get too excited. I mean, you know, maybe he doesn't exist. Maybe he does. Who knows? Here's the other half of the butterfly that I'm adding here on the other side and a little bit lower. I mean, why throw it away when you can just use the other part? All right, friends, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, friends.